ਪਾਸ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਜੀ ਟੁਡੇ एवरीवन ਇਸ ਟੋਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੀਚਰਸ ਡੇ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਲੁੱਕ ਬੈਕ ਆਈ ਰੀਲੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਫॉर ਮੀ देयर इज नो पर्टिकुलर डे व्हिच इज अ टीचर्स डे और ए मदर्स डे पेरेंट्स डे और any particular day because for me every single moment if i am here talking to you in front of you and this because of them i am myself is nothing but a body of flesh bones dirt what are i am they made me what i am and i really don't know what i have become what little i know what i share is depending on the flaws and the conditions that is with me i always say that i have a limitation of vocabulary and when i look back and i find that over the period of time when i moved with so many divine spirits and divine energies I many a times feel that it's a fairy tale. Did it really happen or not? I don't know. Was I even worth it? Also, I don't know. How or what the criteria was for me being part of that? Also, I don't know. It just happened. What I'm talking about is a journey of more than 43 years. and 43 years and it's a long journey but if i look back i can remember every single moment of time and space all the words on the thoughts they shared so if you ask me i may not remember what i learned in my school properly though i was fascinated by learning even now i'm a student for me being with a teacher what i learned was adaptability becoming the student being the student one can be a good teacher i'm still struggling to become a student and uh, being a teacher is quite difficult i'm only sharing what was bestowed upon me I should say best out because am I even worth it also I don't know a science beyond the realms of the concepts which day to day we have understood we have worked upon we have you know looked upon and somehow we find that there are gaps in between my journey actually began with finding out the gaps and definitely it was a wonderful thing somehow it transformed every single bit of me allowing me to undertake a path share the only thing what i understood was give for nature is open it's like an open area the seeker has to be there to connect to it somebody who can come out feel it know it be part of that not just come be there and on off somebody who runs off will not be able to find the peace and happiness there are plethora of things which can you know entice people around and definitely a lot of people are there who keep on doing one thing or the other continuously for me there was no other thing to do do academically yes i will do a lot of things that is something which i am passionate about because i love to read and reading allows one person to grow no i do not know how much i know yet the crucial aspect is how deep and relevant the science was which was revealed a science which might have just lost a science which was beyond 
the time it was timeless it could not be confined in the space it could not be restricted to a area of a small bound it's like the deep thirst one should have to find it but it does not restrict one to a certain norms and conditions there is nothing wrong and right in the path nature does not say it's a right thing or a wrong thing we decide that it's a wrong thing or a right thing nature has no rules for that a flood is as good as a flowing river both are flowing the damage is happening to the individuals and the groups so it becomes bad to us and we find that it's good or bad what suits us is good what doesn't suit us is bad but when we say that something beyond is there in existence it becomes part of us in cities particularly you find that people look for rain when the rain happens they hate the jams so we always have conditions so what is right and what is wrong we cannot decide similarly nature also doesn't decide anything it's a wonderful teacher which allows one to take every single step which is most beautiful man that is the core crux which makes a wonderful student to seek and work on the path as shown by the nature in its subtle ways and means my humble thanks to all the teachers gurus acharyas and baba for the way shown to me and i hope and pray to them that i may get a chance to share the same with everyone without any biases or conditions Namaskar